On today's theorem, we're going to take an arbitrary point inside a triangle and show the sum of the ratio of the distance between that point and the sides um, to the corresponding altitude is one. We'll see that what, what that means. Um, or what that means will become a bit clearer as we proceed. Um, now this one is, is one that GX Web doesn't do well on when um, you constrain at the side lengths, which is my usual approach. Um, so my usual fallback if I can't constrain the side lengths, uh, if the side lengths just end up with too much complexity, is instead to, to work with coordinates. Um, so in this case, useful to put one point at the origin, um, useful then to line up one of the axes um, with the x-axis, one of the sides of the triangle, the x-axis, will be that uh, coordinate a is zero, and then this point is going to be arbitrary. So I haven't in any sense um, uh, specified anything particular about the triangle, I've just uh, placed it um, in a particular uh, position. So any triangle can be fit into this uh, scheme. But in this example, it's pretty useful to do by coordinates because now D is an arbitrary point inside the triangle. So I can just give that coordinates uh, X, Y. So it's, it's an arbitrary location. What we're going to be looking at is the ratio of the distance from D to B, C to the altitude of the triangle, which is the distance from A to B, C. So let's, uh, let's just uh, create that. Uh, distance from D to BC. Now the name of the segment is BC, not CB. It's in alphabetical order. Um, so we want to look at the ratio of that to the distance um, from A to BC. And we get that as some, uh, some quantity there. So actually what I want is the sum of these. So let me just add another one on. Right, that's uh, D to B, C. Let's go from D to um, A, C. Over the distance from B to A, C. No, oh, that's useful. That's uh, 1 minus y over c. That's kind of handy. Um, particularly because we can see that c, c is the length of that altitude and y is the height of uh, that one. So we're kind of done here, but I'll just complete it uh, explicitly. That's distance d, d to a, b. Clearly, that is y over distance c to a b, which is clearly c. And there we have the result.